practitioner. Today we're going to talk about runny noses. Um, disclaimer, this is not medical advice, recommendations, or a diagnosis. This does not take the place of a well child check or a sick visit. If you have any questions, please see your healthcare provider or your pediatrician. So this time of year, the coldness, cold, hot, cold, hot, wet, dry kind of thing, which here in Central Texas has been going on for several, several months. But here recently, we've had a number of patients come in, non-COVID related, non-RSV related, um, with just a concern. My child has had a runny nose and they've had it for the last two months. Um, and a lot of the things that these people have in common is my child has also started a new daycare. So. Of course, y'all, everyone needs to keep in mind that when your child starts at a new facility, whether that is an in-home daycare, a facility-based daycare, Mother's Day out twice a week, or even public school, all the germs that they're being exposed to are different every single day. And so you have to remember that the, their peers that they're coming into contact with are coming from different households with different exposures too. And so it's all coming to a head there in their classroom. And so this recurrent runny nose is absolutely expected. Um, and it's something that over time will get better. Some things you can do as a parent is support your child. Supportive care is the best. Nasal salines, rinsing their nose out, changing, changing their clothes when they get home uh, from their daycare, Mother's Day out or, or preschool uh, to, to get those clothes that may have those extra germs on them off of them and kind of get them back into their own element. Um, you can also do detox bath. We've talked about that before, and that's a really good way to get the toxins out. A lot of sunshine being outside um, and being exposed to, to the environment will also help. Now, I mentioned that we've had this hot coldness, and that can also, um, you know, set your kid up for a runny nose, or even you yourself. When, you, when the wind's blowing out of the south one day, you get those pollens and then it's blown out of the north the next day you get those pollens and so it's it's natural for your nose to kind of be flared up uh, and then for it to run of course produce extra mucus nasal saline is probably my most favorite thing to use and um, he we use it in our house on the daily just to help our nose just clean out those pollens and the toxins that we've been introduced to you can blow your nose if you know how to and if your child is too young of course using a bulb suction or the nose brita to, to suck out that extra mucus will help um, my friend at Essentially Savvy makes a very good uh, chest vapor or a chest cream, vapor cream that I like to use. It's, it doesn't have any chemicals in it um, and it's really good to help open you up if you're interested in that. Um, but those are my suggestions and um, how to kind of combat a runny nose and just know that it will pass, especially with your young kids who are starting your daycare and preschools um, for the first time. It takes a little while, but it will pass. So just support them along the way. Um, and, and if you feel like it's more than that, then definitely reach out to your healthcare provider.